so I don't know. First impressions, coach, uh, the culture, whatever. I don't know. Not yet. Um, I thought the first team meeting was re- was great. Uh, you know, just the the energy that Shane came with, um, just you know, giving us some background on himself and. Uh, you know, really establishing kind of, you know, some team rules and, and obviously just the culture and everything that he wants to build around here. Um, it's exciting. It's a great fresh start. This is like your fifth head coach, interim coach that's kind of addressed you in your career. How do you tell the message is, is real or not real or how do you evaluate uh, those guys? I mean, you get two in Frisco and yeah. this, this is your third guy here. No, yeah. Um, Honestly, uh, you know, obviously every head coach when they're coming in, they're establishing the culture and what they believe in. Um, you know, you know it's real when, you know, they they um, they live up to what they you know they practice what they preach and they live up to what they they've been saying. You know, starting off from when they came in, you know, from the first day. So obviously, um, you know, time will tell. But obviously, everybody's um, we're all on board. I believe I had I sat down, had a conversation with them yesterday and everything, and just you know getting to know them more. Um, you know, and what. You know, obviously, what he envisions and what we envision oh, with this team going um, throughout the season and more. So I'm, 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 I'm excited. You know, to to work with Shane. Look after the season. After the season you guys had, there was a lot of speculation on the outside whether some key pieces would be back. Your mm-hmm. name included. I don't know if there was any substance to it or not. But just from your end, yeah. Was that a consideration? Was anything brought to you, or was it just here no matter what? No. Yeah. I mean, no, there was no. I mean, I had a conversation with Ballard at the end of the season and. Um, you know, just it was just a great conversation about, you know, obviously, you know, things didn't go the way we wanted uh, last year and everything. And, um, you know, just, you know, he, we just had a conversation and, he, you know, he's just saying, just just trust me, you know what I mean? And, um, and you know, we have a great relationship and uh, there was no, there was never any talks about me being traded or, you know, being, being released or any of that. And, uh, you know, I mean, it's the off season, you know, people like to make headlines and, and uh, clickbait and all that kind of stuff. So I just thought it was funny. I uh, saw one of the rumors. I woke up actually um, one morning and I had two different guys from different teams uh, text me and uh, they were like, hey man, is it true? He was like, well, you can come over here and play with me. This is that. And I was like, man, what's going on right now? And I checked Twitter. I'm like, oh, I'm like, wow. You know what I mean? I mean, I guess I'm, I was trending a little bit. So I thought it was funny. Uh, so, you know, I just sent out a little tweet, just letting people know that I wasn't going anywhere. So. Twitter kills people and trades people here. You know, I, uh, so did you need to hear that from Chris? Like just you know, just did you have to? Have, did you need to have that conversation? You feel like? Uh, I mean, me personally, no. I, I don't. I didn't need the conversation. You know what I mean? I just, you know, I, just the past, just like the past couple of years, I was going at the end of the season just to chop it up with him and talk to him. You know, just seeing where his head's at and stuff like that, and um, just you know, digesting the year and you know how we're gonna move forward and stuff like that. So I mean, it wasn't really a conversation I needed personally. Like, oh man, I don't know where I'm gonna be type deal. Uh, yeah, so it's just so, f- stuff like that. To me personally, I kind of just, I mean, I let I let God take the reins, man. For me, I, I don't I don't stress about where I'm going to be, where I'm, this is going to happen. You know what I mean? I kind of just let Him take the take the wheel with that kind of stuff. Do you have uh, any optimism about? Do you have optimism about where you guys are? Last year was tough, right? No, yeah, last year was tough, but I mean, we we also had there was moments, there was games where we definitely should have won. You know what I mean? I, I mean, a couple of them that we were in, and obviously just situations with you know, I mean. Things not going our way. Um, obviously, it was poor play on, um, you know, not just one side of the ball, but you know, all three phases at times throughout the season. Um, you know, when we missed a lot of opportunities. So, um, and we still got a lot of good, you know, great players and foundational players and coming back. And you know, obviously, there's key positions that we need to, you know, some stability in. Obviously, the quarterback position. Um, and uh, you know, I just think, um, you know, just a fresh start with the coaching staff. I mean, obviously, another year with the, the defensive staff. You know, being, you know, we had we had some really good success on the defensive side of the ball, and uh, in the first year, of the system, new system. So, um, you know, being going in year two, I mean, guys, just you know, picking up the play that they we had, uh, you know, throughout the season, and you know, just um, growing from what we did last year. I mean, I think uh, I think. We, you know, there's a lot of optimism to be to be had this year. Buck is a veteran, though. I mean, this is what your eighth year. Yeah. If you hear the word rebuild, a boy, in a couple of years, you don't want to hear that, do you? I mean, no, I definitely not. I hate that word. I mean, I've, I've been through I've been through a rebuild. You know what I mean? And um, it's a process. You know what I mean? Uh, rebuilds are definitely a process. I mean, my my first year, um, obviously, my rookie year in San Francisco. Um, you know, we went two and fourteen. And then, uh, you know, coach got fired, um, brought in Kyle. And then, um, you know, majority of the roster was was gone, you know, brought in, brought in new guys. And, 
you know, took a couple of years. I mean, didn't take till I mean, my, my fourth year in the league when we went to the Super Bowl. I mean, we, yeah, we were building the team, the culture, and all that up to that point. But I was a young player, so I was able to, you know, kind of grind through those tough years and stuff like that. But I mean, yeah, I mean, as you get older, uh, rebuild is definitely not a word you want to hear. Talk when you see Gilly get traded, assuming the quarterback gets drafted pretty early. Does that ever creep in your head that like, man, I might hate the word rebuild, but boy, on paper, there's a lot of indications that. Well, yeah, I mean, I mean, I, you know, Gilly uh, is at a different, um, you know, point in his career than I am. You know what I mean? I mean, he just finished up year 11, and um, I'm going into year eight. So, um, you know, I'd, you know, I mean, if I was in this position, you know, maybe I would have considered the same thing. You know what I mean? I mean, every everybody has their, you know way about they want to go, um, you know, you know, trying to win and stuff like that. And, you know, I'm, I mean, shoot, Gilly was one of my favorite teammates of all time. He was a, he was a pro. He's a great, great guy on and off the field, um, you know, a great friend. And, you know, I, I wish him nothing but the best. I mean, that's the best decision that he made for, you know, him and his family, and I'm all for it. And, uh, you know, he would definitely be missed. But, um, you know, yeah, it's just, you know, for me, it's just we're in different points in our career. You fought a lot of that. I know you fought the elbow a lot last year. Did you need surgery or anything with it? No, I didn't, I didn't need to uh, get any surgery just because I'm, I'm not a quarterback or, or a pitcher. So I got lucky with that. So it's UCL? Yeah. Buck, how beneficial is it to have the same defensive coaching staff in place where you can start kind of stacking on what you did last year and now? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's a, I mean, it's great, you know, to, to be able to come back this year and knowing that we have the same staff as last year because we did have a lot of success on the defensive side. And just being able to build off of what we did last year, you know what I mean? Um, and it brings a lot of confidence to all the guys um, going into this year because, you know, they, they know the playbook. Um, they're a lot more comfortable with the, the things that we're doing, the new things that they had to do last year. So coming into this year, they're just, you know, really uh, refining, you know, their, their, all, their, all their things that they got to do to get better. From, from, the, from the last game of the season until now, how important and refreshing is it like you get your mind and body, you get all that well, especially after a rough season like that, just to kind of hit the reset button? Yeah, it was definitely a, def, definitely a reset button that needed to be needed at the end of the year, for sure, you know, mentally, um, big time mentally, for sure, because it was a mentally, you know, it was a tolling year on everybody. And, uh, you know, for me, it was mentally and physically, um, just being able to get that rest, to hit that reset button, you know, spend some time with the family, get away from ball for a little bit, and then hit the ball rolling again. So it was, um, it's definitely, you know, you can definitely feel the vibes around the building. It's, you know, a lot different, you know, compared to that last week of, uh, of ball. So um, I'm, I'm excited, you know, um, they, you know, made some changes around the building. You know what I mean? Got some some renovations and stuff like that. Uh, changes the the decor decorations and stuff like around the building. So just you know, just change. Uh, I just think uh, a lot of change this off season just definitely needed to be had. You know what I mean? To to move forward. There's at least one power ranking I've seen that has you guys 32nd of 32 teams. Yeah. Your thoughts? I mean, who cares? I mean, <laughs> at the end of the year, it's gonna change again. You know what I mean? Like nobody pays attention to that stuff. Hitting the word rebuild, but have you been given like a clear direction forward for the franchise? Have you been your competition with Ballard and management? Like, have they told you this is what we're going to do to be successful? Um, you know, we've had conversations and stuff, but it's just like, uh, I mean, certain moves that we're going to make, I mean, you know, no. I mean, that's, that's up to the, the higher up. So, you know what I mean? Whatever moves they make, you know, we're going to move forward with it.